Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am on the way to the shop right now, but I was just at a different location for a project that I've been working on for the past month now. And I'm not gonna really tell you guys too much about this. This will probably be the only time I'm gonna mention it. And it's because I'm excited. And so much on this channel, I talk about finding what you're passionate about and doing that. Doubling down on what you love. Doubling down on things that get you excited. And this is something that is an opportunity that I've wanted to explore for such a long time. It's a new something. And I just visited the location and there's so much construction to do. There's so much to do. But I just wanted to tell you guys that in six months, I'm gonna make a video about this whole entire thing. And I'm gonna show you guys something that I've been working on. And most of you guys are gonna forget I ever made this. Most of you guys are gonna forget that I made this clip. You're gonna totally forget it. And this is gonna be my reminder because I'm gonna say, remember when I said I was working on that one thing? And I preached you guys so much to get fired up about what you love in life and learn how to become good at it. And this is one of those things. And this is just a kick in the ass for everyone this morning. To find it is what you wanna do in life and do that. Don't worry about how you're gonna make it work. Don't worry about all the other things you have going on. If you love what you do, truly, you'll find a way to make it happen. So much going on today. Uh, we're in the vet, if you can't tell. We are in the CA Corvette that, I haven't really advertised this on YouTube just because I didn't wanna make one of those videos that's like really broadcasting all the stuff, like selling all my cars, this and that, but I visited this car for sale on Facebook Marketplace. It was originally at West Coast, but sometimes selling really modified cars there isn't the easiest thing to do. So I took it back and I'm listing it myself privately. And I love this car and I drive it everywhere and I get so many compliments on it. Some people look at it and give me thumbs up and stuff and I'm gonna miss this beauty, but there's some stuff going on that, as much as I love having this many cars, it's just not doing me any good. And this is a true beauty, I'm gonna miss it. I list it for 120 grand, this thing has 200 grand in it. If anyone's interested, get a hold of me. It is for sale, but I'm gonna miss her. And as we're cruising to the shop this morning, I'm gonna be transparent. I'm listening to my motivation podcast I listen to on Spotify. I try to listen to this stuff every morning, and it's just a fuel, it's a little bit of fuel that adds to my fire that reminds me to keep going and pursuing and never be complacent. And I hope that all of you guys get a little bit of that throughout watching our videos that you can achieve what you want to do. You just got to put your head down and work harder than everyone else. Anything is possible. Listen to this supercharger. Oh, I am going to miss it. I'll be honest. So there's lots going down today and a lot of stuff is happening on the Supra, which is on the other side of the camera. I can't show you guys that, but if you haven't seen the last upload, it was episode two of pretty much the whole entire Supra where we announced a lot of the changes and that we actually are gonna be tripling down and saving it. So if you haven't done that, go back and watch that video. Uh, so I'm gonna let you guys be for just a minute. We actually need to make another road trip home which I'll explain that in just a bit. But if you guys don't remember, or if you were a customer of it, Hunt & Co did a thank you drop, which was like our 10 year anniversary. With that, we released a sweatshirt, t-shirt, and a bunch of posters. Well, the posters were all autographed and a lot of you guys purchased them. They sold out so fast that we ended up opening the orders for another like day. And there's like a thousand posters that I need to sign and autograph. So you guys can get your orders really quickly. So, hello Hilo. We're gonna be signing some of these posters really quick and then heading home. How many more do we have to sign? Thank you. We only have 500 more. Oh. Well. Victor wanted to say something. Uh, Victor, Victor, you wanna say, say hi to the vlog? No, he has a really important message. I just wanna give a shout out to my grandma. <laughs> shout out Victor's grandma. <laughs> yeah, and for a speck in the chat for Victor's grandma, <laughs> woo! Got a lot more to go. I'm gonna miss having a V8. I gotta be honest about that. Oh my, dude, this cop, I thought that was for me. I was about to film and be like, you guys are always asking how come I don't get pulled over in California. Literally, as I did that, this cop just flipped his lights on and I was like, no way. You guys are about to see me get pulled over. Uh, but it's not for me. He's hauling though. I don't know where he's going. Damn, he must have got a call and was like, later. Oh, just got cut off. 
Shout out to California. It's no secret that when we go to SEMA and party and get a little rowdy and times like when we win drift competitions, we like to celebrate, we end up drinking a little bit. But something I always hate is I end up feeling really crappy the next day. And as I've gotten older, and maybe not all of you have experienced this yet, but as you start getting older, past age 25, you really start to feel it the next day. And that used to be me until I started using Z-Biotic. It's a pre-alcohol probiotic drink and it's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. And it was invented by PhD scientists who wanted to get rid of this issue. It's very simple. When you plan on drinking or going out that night, make sure the first thing that you drink is this, the Z-Biotics drink. When you drink this, you wanna just continue the night, hydrate like you normally do, and the next morning, you're gonna end up feeling great. When you drink, alcohol gets turned into a toxic byproduct in the gut, and that's what makes you feel crappy the next day. A lot of people think it's the dehydration, but it's actually the byproduct that hurts you. And when taking the Zimbiotic, it helps produce the enzyme to break down that byproduct, therefore making you feel a lot better the next day. We're in the world of motorsport, we like to party and get a little bit rowdy, and this stuff is the key to success. You wanna wake up not feeling crappy the next day, drink this the first thing of the night before any alcohol hits your system, and just hydrate, and you're gonna wake up feeling great the next day. And if you guys use my code TJHunt, you can get 15% off of your first order. Or just click the links down below in the description, you can head over to the site and use my code TJHunt. Be sure to take care of yourself, pick up a pack, thank yourself later, and let's get back to today's video. Car swap done, now we can go back and get to work. And for those of you that saw our M4 video, shout out to you guys. Uh, you know what video I'm talking about if you watched it. There was tons of positive feedback. We did something completely new. And it's a piece of content that I'm really proud of as a team. I wanna show you guys something that I'm very excited about and it has to do with Street Hunter. As you guys know, Street Hunter has a wide body kit for the Gen 1 and Gen 2 BRZ, but coming on the Gen 1 BRZ, we have a bunch of stock body parts. I've told you guys about them a little bit. The renders are out there on Instagram, but we have like side skirts, fenders, front lip, a new front bumper, all that type of stuff. But one thing we added was a trunk. A trunk is something that I was really excited to make because I wanted to make a new spin on a trunk. And as you guys know, shout out to Mr. Pep, we did this such a long time ago. We did a, this was back in your parents' this, garage. This was. You use the clip of us struggling to drill holes all the time. Yeah. This is the I, one that I we, okay, this was like our first scare. Yeah, I remember when we got the trunk, this Sabon trunk was actually donated to us by one of you guys. Yeah, Do you remember that? He yeah. gave it to us for free and we were like we were, tripping out. I was like, he gave you a trunk? Really? And that we're was, just gonna drill it? I know, that was wild. So we started with the trunk and then we got this little add-on lip and I've loved it and we drilled it and it was a big thing, but this is the end of this trunk. This trunk is now saying goodbye because we have the Street Hunter replacement and I think I have the second one. We've already done one, but we now do the Street Hunter trunk in carbon. So we have a carbon replacement and it's uh, a lot of inspiration came from this trunk, but we added quite a few different what elements to it. What the heck? Do you like what that? Yeah, you don't have the carbon one, do you? What is this? Hello? Yeah. Excuse me? Do you want the carbon one? If you want it, I'll get you one. The quality on this trunk is just like, it's so insane. We've learned so much over the last few years and, um, everything's already pre-drilled, pre-slotted. Uh, the fitment is pretty money from what I remember us doing and testing. These are available right now if you do want to buy this, um, on the website. But I'm excited, so let's disassemble this trunk. Get rid of it. I'll probably post it for say this. And all these brackets are for the big wing that I had on this, but I actually got rid of. And I, I like the car without the wing. Let's go ahead and start the transfer. I totally forgot this trunk this had this. Sadistic. This is from Sadistic Ironworks. Well, we got to transfer a lot over. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that's pretty drilled for that. No, absolutely not. We got our work cut out for us to we take gotta, off. We got to put a lot of rib nuts. It's a lot. Good thing we have bolts and nuts back on. Bolts and nuts? This would definitely be a great job to have a, a gun or something. It's going to take forever. Playing this slow, but I'll do it for the sake of it. Oh, there you go. I found it. Nice rice, kid. Nice rice. Uh, nice rice. We have a failed rib nut here. I got it. I got it. So you may be asking yourself, oh, Calvin and TJ know how it's to. It's not the same, boys. Do Calvin and TJ know how to install? A trunk? Yes, we've done it before. Eight years ago. Nine years ago. See, look, I'm gonna unplug it. 
and you put away the tap. Did that light just turn off? Well, you unplugged it, so yeah. It's a circuit, it's electrical circuit. Do you need me to go over this with you? You know what, you know who holds the fate of your super right now? Me. So if you're gonna talk smack, guess who has no headlights? You. They don't know what that means because they, that episode hasn't happened yet. Well, I had to look at it three days ago. Doesn't matter, he's right. See, TJ put away the 10 like a chach boy. No, I didn't, it's right there. Well, guess who took it out? Me, with what? My fingers. I'm the finger blaster. <laughs> He is. His what? mom raised him well. What? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, mom. Oh. Come on, give it a ah. Give it a ah. It's getting stuck. How's that fit, brother? So far, it's perfect. This is our trunk garnish piece. The trunk comes in two pieces. Technically, there's the main trunk, and then you can use, you're supposed to use the OEM trunk that you have and put this little garnish piece on the trunk. Well, we actually, years ago, bought a carbon fiber one, which has some holes in it, but don't worry, we'll fix that later. Um, and the pieces underneath it that hold the studs to bolt it to the car are actually larger damage. And it looks like when we got this trunk, the previous owner already did some fiberglass work, so it seems like these are already pretty damaged. So we're going to use some of our quick time epoxy and we'll just be able to essentially resin these back in, glue them back in. They literally go exactly in their spot. Hey, yep, it's already warm. Dab me up, dab me up. Those lights, they're just, they already oh, they should, should be. Fit. Well, we. Hey! Oh! It's tight. Oh, they kind of fit. It should be tight. Otherwise, they bajangle around and. Bajangle? Yeah, they just get. They bajangle around. Bajangle. It's a 14. Oh. I have it. I was just going to ask you to hold it. You got a hand on it, Cal? She's about to get. She's about to come loose. Calvin, come over here and let's give this trunk a salute. Oh, this is so nice and clean, unlike the car. Oh, you had to tighten it before you I was it. gonna test fit it first. Oh. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Karma. <laughs> ah. That hurt. Karma. What the heck? Ow. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my finger hurts. Should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. <laughs> Every time I get sick, TJ texts me, ew. That's it. Ew. Ew. Oh, hey, TJ, I'm dying of illness. Ew. <laughs> and does it text me again? Ew. There's a lot of space in there. You guys designed a good trunk. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Just a great Don't trunk. Just a great trunk. You know how I know? Because I have one. I have one. Look at that. Damn. Oh, made that look easy. This is a nice man. Look at that. Little Subaru stamp. Right way round. That's pretty good. You never see, you'll never see that. When this thing is on, you'll never see it. But it's that stuff that I like. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's just a good. That feels good. Oh, just a good truck. Let me close that real quick. Wow. Bang. It's like, you know, I see where the inspiration came from. It is a beloved shape because we've had this shape since the beginning. I think it's really cool. It looks good on my car too. I love these lines that follow the roof line. I'm going to, I'm going, I was just about to talk about that. Love it. Unfortunately, I believe that this doesn't fit in the new car anymore because the old trunk is a bit different shaped, but it's a really cool thing. So I'm going to have Tuan. I'm going to stand on it. Stand on it. Oh. Actually, we should really have him stand on it. No, but... you first. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Well, you know, bounce for a couple it, yeah. hours, you know, I think we can get it. Feels good though, it looks like you did a pretty... It feels good, it's good exercise. You wanna try it? You wanna come next to me? Oh, there's quite a bit of a Hold hands. Right? Hold, hold. Okay, oh, okay. I 
I'm being forced to do this. This is. Do you see how relaxed my hand is? I'm not trying to hold it. Okay. <laughs> that looks so sick. I know it's not new to you guys, but it's new to me seeing it on this car, and it's just so dynamic. And I, this is my favorite part. That's exactly what I said. These I body lines. I remember when I was pitching it in our meeting, I was like, guys, <laughs> roof line extended to the trunk. It has like that. I literally got this whole idea off of the M4 CSL. Great. That yeah. has it. I was mm -hmm. like, dude, that is hot. I haven't seen that. I'm, when we're making parts, we really try to like do stuff that is original or hasn't been done before. And I haven't seen that. It, one might exist. And you might be like, well, they have it. But like, I had personally never seen it on a trunk on a BRZ before. Bam. Looks great. I know all the comments are going to be like, TJ, what are you going to do with street hunter kit on this car? I don't know if I'm going to. Miley to me, I get a lot of comments are just people who come by and like, when are you going to, you know, finish this and do this or that and add more to it. And I'm like, honestly, for me, this car, like I kind of want to keep it frozen in time and keep it to what it was as much as I would like to change it. Who knows? I might happen one day. I'm so back and forth and decisive, but I'm really set on having this car just live in its existence, live as it is. I'm really happy with it. Wow, it looks good. Oh my God. Oh, wow. It's crazy how just adding like a new part to the car makes you want to go drive it. I'm like, now I want to drive this car. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a photo shoot with Nido. And we're going to be doing, a, uh, we're going to be filming a bunch of our cars and doing a full on shoot and stuff. So that's why I got the M4 today. So unfortunately it literally rained yesterday when we had these cars outside. So we're going to wash both of these cars. But for the next like four hours or so, I'll be, um, shooting that which is going to be in a magazine soon. I'll get the details from the guys that are doing the photo shoot for us But that is coming and I'm honored and it's very humbling to have an opportunity to do something like that So uh, I'm gonna be busy for about the next four hours This video is kind of fun for me because it's kind of like a day in the life for you guys to see how much is going on and maybe gives a little bit of insight to you guys as to how we're filming these videos and how much kind of goes on behind the scenes. Because while we're filming this, I kind of told you guys, this is all I can show you really. But while I'm filming this video, Dylan and Ian are both going crazy on the Supra. And like, I don't think I've said this yet, but there's some more unfortunate news that we have just found that we're slowly ticking away at that Ian particularly is not that excited on. I can't show too much, but how does it make you feel, Ian? Yeah, I'm tired. Enough, enough said, it's enough just, said. Uh, carpet's a different color than we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, totally, total bummer, yeah. total bummer, total bummer. It's gonna need a new floor mats, it's gonna need a new carpet. There's just so much to be, so much to be done on it. And while we're doing that, Calvin was helping with that car, but we had to call an audible because now we're doing this Nitto shoot, so both these cars have to be cleaned and ready. And also, we're going to the LZ World Tour, which by the time you guys are watching this, we're already there. So if you haven't decided on coming to that, come to that, you can get our VIP tickets and do a little meet and greet. But we're gonna be doing a full hunt and co-activation and pop-up shop. Um, and Calvin's gonna be there, so if you guys wanna- I might be there. Calvin, Calvin normally doesn't come with us on trips. So I'm really excited that Calvin's coming with us on this trip. I'm gonna say some funny memes. Make memes and kill some But while Calvin's getting the M4 ready for us to go and shoot that, I've been doing some interviews with the whole Nino magazine spread we're doing. Let's check in with the guys shooting the car because they're doing a really cool shoot on the skyline right now, and I'm excited to see it. But there's just so much to everything that I don't think you guys really see that much. Damn, you guys are going crazy out here. Yeah. How are the shots going? Oh man, they're looking good. So engine based stuff now. Ooh. We have good. the fuse box cover if you want that on. Uh, if you do, yeah. It's in the shop, I can go get it. it wouldn't hurt. The fuse box cover is actually a pretty expensive piece for this car if you're missing it, so it's kind of like a subtle flex. So yeah. I think I should put it in the photos. <laughs> I, think I like it, but at the same time, you know, if we're gonna get this, might as well get that and the strut cover. I agree. I agree, the strut cover was good, yep. Titanium strut bar, definitely wanna put that in the vlog. Definitely. So you're you're the man directing this full day. Hi. Do you go around doing a bunch of shoots, or what? What is everything you technically do for Nitto? I uh, I run the website for DrivingLine.com, uh, which is fully sponsored and owned by Nitto. Uh, and that's the magazine, right? Well, and I also do the magazine. They they draw from each other quite a bit, um, but they're two separate entities. So where, what's the magazine called? Driving line. Driving line. Um, I should. I can grab a copy for you. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. You showed me the one with Westland on it. Yeah. I, that's I, sick. Yeah. No. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's 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 great doing something that seems to have like fallen out of favor in a lot of places. Yeah. So it makes it like unexpected. I I wish magazines were still a thing. Like they still are, but I wish they still had the presence they had like in the Super Street era. Oh. For but sure. I, I don't know. I I have like I hope one, like they make a weird comeback one year. But magazines are rad. Something about having something like physical in your hand like 
makes everything cool, but it's a permanence. It is. Like um, it's not like digital media that the way that things are today, whereas you can always go back and like fix your little mistake or whatever. No, you got to get it right that, yeah. that first time. Uh, yeah. You got to take the effort and, and make it something that's special. Um, and then it's it's out there forever, like like how that exists. So that's it's, the cool it's, part. It's exciting. That's the cool part. So today we're doing. We just did some interviews and some questions. That's going to be a part of the article. And then we're doing photos. And are we doing anything else? Uh, yeah, we also have social media that's happening. Our social media manager Ooh. is here, um, uh, Melvin. Um, Hi, Melvin. <laughs> uh, so we'll be doing some uh, some action aspects of it. He's got some really cool ideas. Tight. Um, yeah, of course, the, the preeminent photographer, Luke Minnell here, oh. he's done lots of great photography for all the manufacturers, lots of different parts uh, manufacturers as well. Um, and he's also been in the industry for, I don't know, what, how many years? 20 years? 20 years. 20 yeah. years? Damn, that's older than me. Yeah, he doesn't even years. look like he could. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, six years old. <laughs> no, we, we've got the A team out here covering your stuff. I mean, you're, you're doing incredible things um, all, all throughout uh, all the different motorsports and uh, different media, and we're, we're just really happy to, to be here. And That's be it. I'm honored you guys are here. I'm Thank stoked. You. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm excited to see these photos. That's going to be rad. Okay, I'm going to go get that, that, that fuse box okay. cover for you. Cool. That's Thank crucial. You. And all the while, something I haven't told you guys yet, but I'll tell you guys this if you're watching this video. Sometimes I feel like we need to step it up a notch and do crazier stuff. And I feel like that's why you watch this channel. If you've been watching this for a while, we like incrementally get crazier and crazier and crazier with our ideas and ambitions. And you guys really push me to kind of like push that boundary and limit. I just purchased something that we'll probably get next week. You guys might see it in two to three weeks. I didn't purchase one thing. I purchased two things, two cars. And all of this say, it's probably the scariest financial car we've ever done and it's absolutely crazy i i'm terrified of it but just know we have a build that came out of nowhere that i was keeping my eye on and i'm cooking up to raise the bar so just get ready all right well we've gotten to the point in the video that i cannot put off any longer you're probably like what who's leaving what's going on what's happening my world is being rocked right now my, my mind is being bent in places it shouldn't be bent. I know, I know, but it is true. Someone from our team is going to be leaving and it's someone in the car side who you guys have all grown to love like a brother. The person who is going to be leaving is going to step forward and they're going to state their case. Without further ado, he who shall not be named, please step forward. Gotcha! 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 All right, real time. No. I'm out. Oh, why is he Lee? I like Ian. I like Ian more than everyone here, dude. Do you forgive me? No, I can't. Don't look at me. Don't. I, it's, it's raining. It's raining in here. Okay, but for real, this is a first time for us. It is life, and I'm gonna let Ian say a few words, but I will first off start the conversation and say, Ian is amazing. Ian's been a lot of great, a lot of cue highlight reel of Ian. Always. It's been really awesome having Ian here. He's wildly talented, extremely smart, super technical, and he's been able to bring uh, a set of value here that I don't think we are going to be able to replace. Um, and he's amazing. And if you guys ever cross Ian, I think that you'll find that he's a sweetheart just as he, is in the videos, but Ian has gotten a really great opportunity and we don't want Ian to pass up on it. You don't have to say what you're gonna go and do or if you want to, you can. No, I'll keep it, I'll keep it quick. All right, got an opportunity to follow like an aspect of my life that I've really tried to enjoy. And so I'm gonna just jump in and take that full throttle. And we love that. That's one thing that I've really like said to you guys a lot is like when you find something you really love doing, be sure to chase that regardless of anything else in life. And Ian, is it's obviously in the, it's in the world of motorsport, it's in the world of yeah. cars, but it's in a specialized field that Ian personally loves. Yeah. And he has an amazing opportunity. And as much as I don't want him to go anywhere and I want to scream and cry and hold him by his leg and cry and say, please don't leave. 
I'm really proud of him. I'm happy for him. And I want you guys to hear it from us first before you're like, wait, where's Ian? Why isn't he in the videos anymore? <sighs> We love you, Ian. I appreciate it. We're gonna miss you. you. I think too. you guys might see him in one or two videos that were still ongoing filming, but um, this is the official goodbye. This is the official, we love you, brother, and we look forward to having him back. Because I'm sure he'll be back for certain things where we're like, we really need an Ian right now. So you guys will see him again. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Dylan's like, yeah. 100%. Uh, I can't kick him from my hip, so it doesn't matter for me, but for the shop, Speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, your head. I don't understand this. Help me do this. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be Ian here and there. Looks well, like boys, we're hiring like someone hiring. new. Huh? No, what? I don't, I don't know. Please um. don't message me with your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please don't do that. But we're gonna love you. We're gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you guys too. We'll everyone. See, we'll see Fans, you. We'll see you guys house. soon. It's gonna be. I'm gonna change the pace. That's for sure. All right, a little update, folks. Uh, we've been shooting out here for like 30 minutes or so, getting a bunch of like, the shot's really cool. I don't know if I can bug you later to show a couple of them, or s but we're shooting off of up here on the truck. Oh, damn. And on this camera, it's gonna look lame. It's not gonna like, like it looks cool, but like that looks lame in comparison to the photos that we're getting. So a few more and Twan's taking some notes. I love this stuff. Twan's taking watching, some notes. I love watching this stuff. It's super this cool. photography light. Set up. This is like every natural photographer's worst nightmare because I'm a natural light photographer and then you, these guys pull up and you're like, fuck. Is that a fuck. thing, natural light photographers versus? Yeah, for the most part. Like, I'm so disconnected this from that world. It's so magazine, it's so like perfect. It is. And then like. This is, this is probably yeah. not cheap either. Are these expensive? Probably. I'm not even gonna ask. It probably is. Yes. Look how big that converter is. I think it's probably really expensive. All right, we just wrapped the shoot. It's now 7.30 and I am so gassed. I'm exhausted from today, but I'm really excited to see how that uh, magazine comes out. I'll let you guys know when and where you can get it if you're interested in it, uh, but it probably won't be published for the next two to three months, so I'll keep you posted. Now we go home for some dinner. All right, for dinner, I'm gonna make up some quick chicken, got some rice. Serena's putting together a little bit of a soup a for us. Tomato this, and is gonna be soup, the, this is gonna be the cap of the night. Tomato and pesto? Tomato and pesto what? Tomato and pesto and avocado. Oh yeah, oh maybe. You Could guys, be I made a fire snack today. To heirloom tomatoes sliced, sliced avocado, and then pesto with salt on top. Turning into a little chef. If I didn't do cars, I'd be a cooking channel. No, I'm just joking, but like, I really like cooking. I've gotten a lot better at it because I watch cooking channels on YouTube. But I had a thought that I wanted to talk to you guys about in the Supra episode number two, or is it three? I think it's episode two. A lot, one of the top comments was, we want an update with Danny's Miata. And I responded to the comment and I'm like, would you want a full video on this? And there was a pretty large response that you guys would like to see an update. So if you are someone who'd like to see it, comment down below and uh, maybe we'll tee up a full episode where we, where we bring Danny in, check in with him and uh, do a driving experience with him. And I think we still have like one or two parts that came in that we could put on his car. So if you'd want to see that video, or you watch that series, you want an update, leave a comment down below and I'm gonna try and get Danny to come in on an off day where he's not working and spend a day with us at the shop. As tired as I am, I decided I'm gonna hop on, play a little bit of Hell Diapers 2. I've been fighting for democracy for the past whole month and I need to, I need to do my part and I need to help out the community. Uh, but I want to close off this video, tying back into what I said earlier this morning, uh, sorry, the reels is... Sorry, I'm in the Matrix right now. Sabrina. I want to tie it into what I said this morning and find what it is that you love to do and find a way to make it happen. You'll find success just comes when you are enjoying what you do. Because when you enjoy what you do, you end up outworking everyone. You end up putting in that extra hour every day or a few hours every day. I mean, you put that in extra every day, it leads to seven, eight hours extra Monday to Friday, I'm talking about the weekends, which is four extra days at the end of the month, times that by 52, that's like 200 plus extra days you'd be putting in just by spending just a little bit more time. And that's when you really find the success just like start coming and things just falling into place. So figure out what that is. And don't worry about, oh, is it gonna make me money? Don't worry about, oh, is this the smartest decision? Don't worry about what other people think. All that doesn't matter. None of that matters. And as soon as you can wrap your head around that, the sooner you'll be on the way, on the path to success where you know you deserve. And with that, I love you guys. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I see some of you guys at the LZ World Tour this weekend. And if not, I'll see you at the next event. Peace out and keep moving forward.